over 30 years, and that's where I learned to love animals. And I have two little daughters, aged four and two, and I'm trying to teach them to love animals just as much as I do. So the other day, we were at the library, and I saw this great book. It's called Never Smile at a Monkey. <laughs> It's written by Steve Jenkins and published by Houghton Mifflin. Now, I know that Houghton Mifflin is an excellent publisher, so I thought, this is going to be a great story for my little girls. <laughs> so let's pop it open and see what it's about. <laughs> Everyone knows that tigers, crocodiles, sharks, and other large predators are dangerous. Many smaller animals are also well-known threats. People do their best to avoid rattlesnakes, black widow spiders, and piranhas, to name just a few. This book is about creatures, both large and small, whose dangerous nature may not be so obvious. Their teeth, claws, spines, and venom can be deadly to an unsuspecting or careless human. Yeah, a careless human like a child. Hey, can anyone think of a weird-looking animal? Platypus, that's right! Did you know that the platypus is about the size of a small cat? Yeah, that's right. But you should never pet a platypus. No, no, no. This peculiar looking animal appears harmless, even comical as it waddles about. The platypus, however, is the only poisonous mammal. It has venomous spurs on its hind legs, and it can give you a very painful jab. Ouch! I don't like to get jabbed. Oh look, it's a pretty shell. But you should never collect the cone shell. No. If you notice one of these beautifully patterned shells on the seafloor, you might be tempted to pick it up. I sure was. That would be a big mistake though. The cone shell hunts and defends itself with poison barbs that can be launched like harpoons. The barbs are so poisonous that you can die within minutes of being stabbed. I don't want my little daughters to get stabbed. Oh. Alright guys, who here likes hippos? Never harass a hippo. <laughs> this is the first sentence about hippos. Hippos kill more people in Africa than any other wild animal. <laughs> yeah, I went and looked it up. It's like 3,000 people a year. That's like a 9-11 just from hippos. <laughs> You know what? A calamari comes from a squid, 
And you should never swim with a squid. Because the Humboldt squid is a fierce ocean predator. And it can be longer than a full-grown man. I'm a full-grown man. That's pretty long. <laughs> and its tentacles are lined with thousands of sharp teeth. The Humboldt squid attacks at high speed, whipping its tentacles around the victim and tearing out chunks of flesh for the sharp, ferret-like feet. Oh, boy. I'm supposed to eat you, calamari. You know me. me. All right, guys. This is the final word of advice from the book. Never smile at a monkey. If you smile at a rhesus monkey, it may interpret your show of teeth as an aggressive gesture. Yeah, like what's happening outside. And it can even respond violently. Even a small monkey can give you a serious bite with its long, sharp fangs. Now, I want you all to look at this monkey. Doesn't he look sad? I think we should all smile at the monkey. On the count of three, we're all going to smile at this monkey, okay? One, two, 